Well, hello. Today I thought we'd take a look at the 2009 first editions, or the uh, 2009 new models, as they uh, call them now. So, a little new card art for this year. Uh, number one, start right off. The uh, 2009 Nissan GTR. It's in white. Pretty bright. Some nice tail light tampos and decals for the badges. Alright, number two. Circle Tracker. The number three be the uh, Corvette C6R. Number four, Brit Speed. It's supposed to look like some kind of classic British model or British styling. It has a British flag on it for sure. Number five be the Ferrari 250 GTO. Some rare models that'll have the uh, fins in there, just like the picture will be painted in there. At least I've seen some. I'm not sure how common they are. Number six, five alarm. I'm getting a little blurry here. Number seven be the uh, seventy Buick GSX. So it's got a tack and the uh, spoiler stripe. So rather than it being a Skylark, it's actually a GSX. Top of the line for nineteen seventy Buick. 1969 Mercury Cougar Eliminator. That's number eight. I always like Cougars. I thought they were pretty neat. The Eliminator is definitely a really cool one. All right, number nine. Got the OCC split back. Most of the flames are on the tank and the tail. Pretty neat. Number 10, the Bifocal 2. Gives you a sort of similar design to the Bifocal 1, but I think I prefer the original Bifocal. Number 11 be the 2009 Ford F-150. Kind of an elaborate design for a new model. Usually they have a uh, standard for a new truck. Just a standard paint style, but not that one. Just a big old Hot, hot Wheels emblem. Number 12, the Mid-Mill. This is actually a very beautiful design. I like this paint style with the uh, the flames are actually the uh, base co color of the vehicle with the blue background. Pretty cool. Love to have a real one of these. Number 13. 
be the uh, 71 Dodge Demon in yellow. Number 14, a fast gassing. So is it right there? Ooh, it's uh let's try to get the glare. There we go. Fast gassing. Number 15, custom 53 Cadillac. It's kind of got a pickup truck with a little car in the back. Downhill speeder or something. It's definitely got the front of a Cadillac. And basically it was oh kind of a purse type of wagon. With the top customized. Something like that to make a truck. Alright, number 16, the AMC Javelin AMX. Give you some American Motors there. Not quite as popular as the other models, GM, Ford, and Chevy, but they're uh, Mopar, as far as that goes. Volkswagen Type 181. Pretty reminiscent of the thing. Not exactly sure what the difference is between those. Number 18, Avant Garde. A little bit of red, white, and blue going on. Number 19, be the 70 Chevelle SS Wagon. Of course, I don't think they actually made Super Sport Wagons. Don't remember that ever being the case. But, Hot Wheels made one. Alright, number 20. Dune it up. It's a pretty cool dune buggy. It's got flames on the chrome. And a little bit of graphics on the uh, hood for it. A rear engine dune buggy. Number 21. Lamborghini Revention. That's how you say it. Number 22. Try and stop me. You got your three wheeled bike. Number 23, custom V8 Vega. I'm actually partial to uh, Monzas and Vegas. Actually had two Chevy Monzas. So I'm partial to this kind of car. Number 24, La Fasta. Actually looks good in this first color. Other than that, I don't exactly care for this one. Reminds me of one of them E's kit cars. Just the way it is. Alright, number 25. It'll be the Custom 41 Willys Coupe. Very nice with the basic paint. There's no tampos or anything to make it unfashionable. 
So it's always going to be in fashion. I like the styling of that one. Right, number 26. 2010 Camaro SS. This is 2009 new models, so. Trying to come up a little quicker than the model actually comes out. Of course, you know, in the real world, they're already in production on the next year's cars in the middle of the year before, anyway. I know that being in the automotive world. We're already making things for next year. Custom 42 Jeep CJ2A. It's the full title of that one. I like this one in the army colors. Pretty cool in the drab green with the uh, Jeep and the little stars on it. Simple and elegant. A little Jeep dragster. Alright, number 28. Barbaric. I know I took one of these out of the package just to see if that blade did something. <laughs> I remember it came off, but it didn't do anything. Nothing special. But that's a pretty color pink. Number 29. Be the 70 Plymouth AR Cuda. AR Cuda, right there in the tail. Got the black hood. Very nice. Number 30. Be the F1 Racer. Not too big on, I don't know if this is a real based car or if it's a fantasy. Not sure. Alright, number 31. 66 Ford Fairlane GT. This one's a really nice one. Bought this in several colors, I think, so far. Same with a lot of the muscle cars. It's got the uh, actual Fairlane 500 decal. Little emblem right there. You can barely see in my camera though. It says 427. Do the engine. Alright. This is one that was actually kind of hard to find at the time. The Tread Air. Came out as a treasure hunt recently. It's actually got mud spatters and stuff on it. Kind of cool. Check that up there. It's a little. It's supposed to be like a uh, airplane. If I take that part off, with treads on it. I think that's a neat model. A lot of people don't seem to like it. But I do. Alright, number 33 be the, the Triumph TR6. Buddy of mine had one of these, a real one. One time he was trying to restore. I wish I knew what, uh, how far he got on it. He actually bought a donor car for it, and I think it, the donor car ended up being in better shape than the one that he had. All right, Captain of Mispronunciation here. This will be number 34. Fast Falion. That's how you pronounce that. Fast Falion. And that's it. Number 35. Be the 4 1. That's what it says. 4 1. The little bitty car. Yeah. 
All right, number 36 be the Geronimo. Interesting paint scheme on that. Got some like biohazard type looking stuff on it. At least some kind of warning emblem. All right, number 37 be the uh, Dotson Bluebird 510. Not sure why this has become a popular car. I do like it. I mean, I bought one in 2009. Actually, I thought I bought a bunch of them, but I don't know. Must have given them away or something. Not thinking they were anything special at the time. Uh, number 38 be the Ferrari California. One does have a little Ferrari emblem in the front there. Number 39. The Ford GTLM. Kind of a satin blue. It's almost like that Spectrofrost stuff they were putting out. Number 40 be the dragon tail. Don't really see the dragon tail in it. Almost looks like a dragon fly. Alright, the last two, number 41, would be the uh, 2010 Ford Mustang GT. Pretty red. And number 42. Pedal de metal. Kind of an oddball pedal car, I think. It's kind of clear so you can see in there. You got two uh, peddlers with race helmets on. That's what the orange things are. They're actually supposed to be people pedaling. Some kind of uh, bicycle geared racing vehicle. Pretty interesting. Okay, that was your pile for the uh, 2009 new models. And uh, probably most people's highlights would be the Bluebird, and possibly the Triumph, some of these other muscle cars, the wagon. Alright, thanks for checking it out. Bye-bye.